so guys currently i'm at level three of chinese learning and uh, for me level three i feel like i see this book is a little bit bulk and there is a lot of work to do bearing in mind there is an extra of 150 extra vocabularies to learn apart from that in level three it's only chinese characters no pinyin may opinion <sighs> All right, Daja Hao, Hoi Ning, Lai Dao, or the YouTube Pin Dao, or Joe Monica, Dan Shi, or the YouTube Ming Tzu Shi, Xiao Jiu, Karimbe. Maybe someone can correct my Chinese pronunciation or you know, formation of sentences. So let me translate what, what I just said, you know. Hello everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Monica. My name is Monica, but my YouTube channel is Miss Karinge Shaoji. Shaoji is Miss Karinge. It's Miss. Um, so, guys, in our today's video, as you can see from the title, I uh, will be trying to share out some of these uh, free apps that I've been using to learn Chinese. You can actually learn um, Chinese for free. Personally, I'm enrolled at a school where I'm learning the Chinese language. But apart from uh, from that, the book alone is not enough. You still need um, they, they still need for you to you know to to try other things. You know. And for me, there are a number of apps that I've been using. Most of them, they are free, by the way. And uh, you really, you really get an opportunity to learn a lot. As uh, you, you get a chance to learn a lot. Personally, I, I don't prefer just using the mere textbook because I really get bored very fast. So for me, when I'm learning, I'll take this book and just read it for 30 minutes. Maybe I'll read one chapter and uh, that is it. I don't want to do anything else to do with that book. I would prefer going for some um, somewhere else. So number one of these are apps where I usually go to lunch and it's for free. It's on YouTube. YouTube has so many resources and they are all for free. You can learn about HSK1, that is level 1, level 2, HSK2, HSK3 and so forth. You will get a number of good teachers uh, on YouTube and you can really do learn a lot from this. Um, Maybe next time I'll highlight some of these YouTube channels that I do watch. And there is one of the amazing YouTube channels that I like. Uh, they usually focus on, um, I guess they focus with a number of activities. But I usually focus, uh, I usually, for me, I do focus on their stories. Um, I usually focus on their, on their stories. I guess it's called SYS Mandarin. They tell stories and then they elaborate it in every sentence. They can also talk about songs, etc. You know, such things of uh, or, or such things on YouTube. Also, I like also enjoying songs. I have learned so many songs uh, on YouTube, like Nidada An, Pangyo. I really love, um, you know, listening to songs when I feel like I'm tired. So you can also get uh, some good songs on YouTube, Chinese songs. Apart from that, you can also get podcasts, um, you know, the Chinese podcast on uh, YouTube. And they are going to help you a lot, especially on your reasoning skills. Because if, if especially you are not learning um, Chinese when you're in China, sometimes you will find that you can take a book and understand a lot. But when you, you, you try to go, you know, talk with a native person, then you realize like uh, you are like a thin bottom. No, you cannot understand anything. So that is the other thing, okay? So then uh, the other app that I usually use often, this is a Pleco. Pleco has uh, some amazing features. This was the first app that I came to know about. Not actually the first. I guess I've met others, but Pleco is one of the apps that I came to know about. It has a dictionary. It has a place where you can enjoy, um, you can enjoy uh, practicing the Chinese character. And um, something else, you know, sometimes you are not sure about a tone of a word, the tone of <clears throat> a word. For example, we have how, we have how for good, we have how for how for is it date i guess so so when you're having uh something like play call you're able to confirm which tone is this word yeah and among other good features so here we have playco so playco as i said before it's a dictionary you can search for you can search for words uh you can either search your words in english or also in chinese for example, I want to know how to uh, what is the meaning of Jehun. Jehun it brings me over here and then it will it will say to marry, to get married, to be married. And then you can get over here and see they have the, the meaning. 
um, you can see over there their words and then there are also sentences okay that's how you can use um mm -hmm. preco and also for example let's talk of um some words which usually have the same you know if you want to differentiate the different tones for example you can see here we have ma ma you can see the different meaning and the tones ma for mom ma for horse etc etc then over here you can come over here maybe you want to practice a character like let's say character rain and then there you are maybe you want to practice pa you know so it also has those features the number three one is hand pin hand pin i feel like as if it works uh, more or less like pleco um i don't know how i don't know the much difference it has but you will get it has example sentences you find that it has some sentence examples which is so nice because you know um when you're learning the language you don't want just to memorize mere vocabularies but when you see them uh, when they are put on a sentence structure then it it becomes um, much more easier and you're able to understand how is this word used in the real context so i guess this is one of the amazing uh, features about pleco i'm also going to show you how pleco looks like then there's this other app honestly i can't remember the name uh, this app was recommended by our teacher by my teacher that is uh, i can't remember the name but i'm going to attach it over here this is another another very very good app and uh, one thing i like about it you know when you feel tired when you f that moment when you feel like you don't want to read this app has have some games you practice you what do you practice you practice matching pinyin and matching the words you practice counting the number of strokes uh, it has flashcards i'm also going to show you over here yeah so it has some amazing features so if when you feel tired like for example for me when when i'm in a tattoo and you know i'm feeling tired i don't want to read and maybe I need something to distract me then um i can play using this this stuff yeah i can play some games using the app and without you knowing you end up um you end up knowing that you have actually memorized uh some some goods goods uh, you, you have really memorized um, a number of words yeah then the other app ooh, 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 ooh. this is duolingo duolingo I know when I started on Duolingo, some people were discouraging me that it is time wasting and the stuff. And I still think um, that there's a very good number of people who still believe that Duolingo, maybe it's time wasting. But for me, I don't find it like time wasting because as I've told you guys, I am. I don't like when I am more focusing on books. I don't like that. I want to 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 you know to immerse myself in so many ways. And sometimes I came to realize this. Unless maybe I see a word maybe three or four times. When I see a word the first time, I might not recognize. I might not even be able to memorize it. But when I see it severally, severally, then I'm able to. I'm able to you know to memorize it that's why you will see that I'm using so many platforms because maybe in the morning I used to lingo later in the day I'll go on play and stay there for 30 minutes um helping you know all this stuff I just go around I go on YouTube listen to a song maybe when I'm traveling I also maybe decide to listen to the, the HSK 3 book audio book and um I also think listening to an audiobook really helps a lot. You will find the audiobooks on YouTube. Uh, for example, I remember there's this word uh, known as Jehud, Jehud, that is to get married or to marry. This word, I was, I had listened to it so many times, you know, when I'm going home and um, I have just my, you know, my earphones on and then I'm just like sleeping or having a nap and then, you know, it's just passing, passing. And then I realized, wow, this word Jehun, Jehun, it's mentioned so many times. And then when I got home, I said, let me check what is Jehun. I saw, oh, Jehun means to marry or to get married. And I was like, wow. Now, the word is no longer a problem to me. So you can also try using that. Yeah. Um, then something else if you really need to go into practicing practicing your spoken chinese and actually this is my greatest talent i'm at hsk3 but i have noticed like i'm really struggling a lot on speaking maybe if you're learning the chinese language and maybe you have some advice that you can give me i would really, really do appreciate i'm taking this book i'm taking this book 
I can read, read and understand like um, this book by the way it's in Chinese character. This is HSK3, it's in Chinese character. Although the next page you can see it's written um, in Pinyin. <coughs> so I can take this book, read and understand everything. Yeah. Apart from that, I have found myself that whenever I'm chatting with Chinese people or maybe someone else can speak Chinese, I have realized I am able to like understand a lot. But when we go to speaking, like, um, I guess I need to do more of listening. And apart from listening, when I want to speak something out, you ask me a question, I have understand what you have asked. But when I want to express myself, I'm like, uh, should I translate directly? Yeah, should, you know, you get to that habit of translating directly from english to to chinese so that is the other struggle so i would if you really need to go somewhere where you can practice your speaking these are some of these apps that i would actually recommend you guys to go to one of the apps that i think i am really trying to put more effort on and you can meet so many native speakers this is hello talk hello talk is a very good platform i really do enjoy going there and when you become active, you'll find you might be having like um, several partners, but you really need to put a lot of effort to make sure that you get a very good partner and maybe agree on time because when time comes, the time difference becomes a very big problem. So you need to agree on time. You can teach your partner English or whatever your native language is. And then the partner also can um, teach you Chinese correct your pronunciation, maybe tell you this, this sentence structure is wrong. And... Um, you know when you speak you can't speak something a sentence two or th two or three times and you forget you will never forget it tends um to stick it tends to stick i remember i was chatting with this um with this tennis person and then he said the word is is which means interesting and so today i was chatting with another friend and i was like what did this guy guy say about it? something interesting so i went back to the chat i confirmed the word it is and then i said oh today i'm going to use it with someone else and now i cannot dare forget how to say interesting in interesting 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 um in chinese apart from hello talk you can also check some other apps like uh, tandem tandem they do hold parties you'll go to a group of people maybe they are practicing maybe it will be indicated chinese and then you see maybe they have uh, english chinese or uh, Deutsch, german chinese so depending on their native language then you are going to select which party or which group you want to join and in there you will find people are, are really practicing their spoken chinese they can talk about any topic they can talk about politics you just need to come up with a, a topic that you really need to discuss and you know there are several people so you really do enjoy you practice your listening skills and also you also practice your um, you know your spoken skills so guys you have heard my i hope you have heard my entire story on how i'm able to learn chinese and the apps the free apps if you know of any other free app that i can actually implement or give uh share it with you know some of our viewers then you can let me know in the comment section at the end of the day we want to improve our chinese our languages so thank you so much guys for watching this video make sure you like the video and subscribe see you on the next one see ya Ciao.